it has been remarkable uh, to see how many people have come out and, and, and given so much of themselves. Uh, not only in, in donations, but in uh, driving, uh, driving the cars, because you know how short it has been on, on, on gasoline. Um, it, is, it has proven uh, something that I've, I've always known to be true, and that is that the people of Woodhaven uh, have very, very big hearts. So we're very, very, uh, again, a very, very big thank you to everybody, and give yourselves a round of applause. said that, as I wrote my article, that when you need them, God sends angels. And he really sent a lot of angels in every one of you, in, and especially in Ed, because these angels, you all came out, and you all were there for your neighbors that are so drastically in need. residents and all those who are so so generous because all of us recognize that as easily as it happened to our neighbors it could happen to us as well and it gives us a perfect perfect opportunity to recognize the various lights in the midst of darkness our friends that live in uh, Rockaway Beach and the Rockaways and in Howard Beach without lights you realize you are so immobilized and you are not able to do the basic things that you normally do. Uh, we do offer a prayer for the generosity of all those who have been so helpful and who continue to provide for the needs of our brothers and sisters. It does not matter, it does not depend upon your creed, what you believe or don't believe, but a great recognition of the importance of being generous to those around us. Let's bow our heads a moment of silence for those who lost everything, who lost all their possessions, and, 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 we, and we pray for all their recovery. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone, for, for coming down and Again, for all your hard work, there's still a long way to go. And uh, uh, again, we look forward to seeing you. We'll be out at, at our office all day tomorrow. And uh, if you want to come down and, and volunteer some time, uh, we'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you. We have a wagon over there someplace. And if you can, on your way out, you can drop off your flashlights. And we'll make sure to get to the hands of people who need it. Again, thank you very much, everybody. Lights, batteries, okay, where are they going in here? Go right in there. Uh, I put the bat, I taped the batteries onto the flashlights. Great. Good idea, this That's way they have, and have lanterns too. Great. So the flashlights, these are coats, that goes in the trunk? The coats go in the trunk, flashlights in the trunk. And put the flashlights in. And food stuff okay. and tissues, that goes in the trunk? That goes in the trunk. Okay. I'll put this one in the trunk. Yeah. All flashlights. Yep, all the flashlights. If we run out of room in the wagon, we can visit the front door. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, 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 yeah.
Board, board, did you get down to Rockaway? Thank you. When we put the board, we have to put over there. Okay. Oh, yeah.